Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of The Longing, Another Day Beneath the Earth. Here we are, this is just where we told the shade to go at the end of last episode. And uh, we know we can't climb this. We've tried many, many times. Yes, you should have predicted this outcome. Um, we're just hanging out here. We're hoping that uh, at the end of this episode we'll be able to go to the mushrooms and see a big one having been grown. And I know we've explored these caves several times, many times, and I just do not remember what way leads where. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm not, I'm not looking at the map, I'm just kind of willy-nilly going about looking everywhere. Willy-nilly. I feel like I've probably said willy-nilly in the series a whole bunch. Take a shot every time. Um, oh. I don't remember this. Can we matic this? No, I don't think so. No. But this does not look super familiar, so I'm going to go this way. Enter this door. Yeah, yeah. Up here. Little shade. Pitter pat. So, yeah. That's the plan. That's the idea. Uh, today is Labor Day, and I... As I'm recording this, not as you're watching this, uh, you were probably watching this the day after Labor Day. Uh, well, that's when it comes out anyway, probably. Um, and I spent all day long working, <laughs> not not working at my job, but uh, I'll tell you what happened. Last night, um, no, no, we gotta gotta go back further. Oh, right, we've seen this. I forgot about this. Um, I've had the same phone. I've had a Pixel XL, the first gen Pixel XL, uh, since it came out in like four, four years ago, I want to say. I think that makes sense because the Pixel 5 is about to come out. And it served me very well. It's been a great phone. I've loved it since I got it. And uh, it's, I've kept it in really, really great condition. Okay. Um, really great condition. No cracks. Um, the only thing that was really wrong with it is over the years, the battery has just become abysmal. I mean, it, you know, I would not do anything with the phone and just like leaving it out after an hour, it's at like 50% charge and it'll shut off when it gets to like 35%. It, it got bad. So I was like, you know, I know the Pixel 5 is going to come out. I need, I probably need a new phone at this point. Right. All right, we'll go this way. Um, I'll pick that up, though. So I was like, you know what? To tie me over, because, like, this battery is getting hilariously bad. Um, just really annoying. I would love just to get a new battery. Um, and I was looking online, and you could get them for, like, 17 bucks a Pixel XL battery. And then... Uh, I'm leaving that one. And then um, once I do that, uh, that'll tie me over until I can get a new phone when in theory one comes out in mid-October. So I do that and the the pack comes with, the battery comes with like all these little tools, um, which is a really great deal. It comes with like three different mini little screwdrivers and these guitar pick shaped things uh, and a suction cup and a little chisel, like all of these things um, in the $17 package with the battery which in theory should be a nice battery. So I'm like, all right, cool. I can do this. I mean, I'm in, I'm in tech. I install things all the time in my computer, uh, wherever. I don't think I want to jump down here. I think that would be a bad idea. Don't think I want to do that. Do I? Um, so I think like, and I, you know, I've, I do stuff around the house with uh, the electrics and, I, you know, I feel like I'm technically competent enough that installing this battery in this phone won't be that big of a deal. Um, I mean, they give you all these tools like it seems. And, I, you know, people seem to do this kind of thing all the time. And I see there are tons of YouTube videos on how to do it. So yeah, I'm not really recognizing this. Um, 
I'm playing Civilization VI last night with some friends. And uh, while I'm playing, um, because in that game, uh, it can take a really long time for people to take their turns. Oh, is this the Hall of Eternity? It surely is. Well, we're not going there. Pretty sure this is the Hall of Eternity. Um, yeah, I think we just go to the back to the mushrooms at this point. We've explored. To the mushrooms. To the mushrooms, please. There. Um, yeah, so you, you have to wait a long time for everyone to finish their turn, especially when you're I was playing with three other people. So um, in between turns, I, like, put on a little video um, with the volume off, but I felt like I didn't need the volume of watching this person do it. And I was like, okay. And it's like, okay, first step, you heat the thing. I run up, I grab a hairdryer. Uh, plug in the hairdryer, start start heating it to soften the adhesive. Okay. And then I see, like, um, they use, like, a little scalpel, a little exacto knife kind of thing to and to kind of pry up the front plate i'm like all right and uh they didn't really give me any tools like that and i didn't want to go fishing for an exacto knife and i figured one of the tools they gave me would probably be okay like the chisel that must be what it's for so i try that oh we're jumping down nice do it ba bump nice um and uh the chisel doesn't seem to work none of my tools seem to work but then i'm like Oh, maybe that's what the suction cup is for. So I take the suction cup and I put it down and I pull up and it's, and I can see it kind of giving, it's bending a bit. I'm like, oh wow, this is working. So after that, I kind of, I'm able to like get one of the guitar pick things underneath it. Um, and my friend on the phone says like, oh yeah, he's seen people do it with like a guitar pick. I'm like, oh, cool. Well, that's what I have here. Pick it up, pick the thing up. So... Um, so I'm like running and I'm like the video the, at the, in the video, what they use a playing card to basically run all around the perimeter of the front plate to like kind of pry it up. Um, and then after that, you can see the guy like lifts or the person, uh, lifts the entire front plate off and it's still connected with like a wire, but they're able to like lift the entire front plate off. So I'm doing this and I just keep trying and I'm like using the suction cup. And then as I'm using the suction cup and I hear kind of a, a noise and I'm realizing that when I'm using the suction cup to pry, pry it up just a little bit, not like a lot, is creating all these cracks in the screen. Just, just, and I can't see it because the phone is off. So it just looks black to me, but I can see in the light, oh, there's, there's cracks all over the place. So I've, I've wrecked my screen without realizing it. By, by pulling up on it with the suction cup thing just to try to get under it with the guitar pick device. I'm like, well, all right, that's too bad. But I, whatever, I can deal with the cracked screen for the next uh, month and a half or whatever. And so, but eventually, like, I just cannot get this thing to lift off. I can get half of it to come off, but the other half, it just won't, won't come off. And eventually, I'm like, I... I can't do... I basically give up. Um, I don't think that I am able to competently remove this. I'm clearly destroying my phone in the process. As I'm kind of like trying to get the front plate off, I keep hearing bad noises. And I love like maybe things tearing or something that shouldn't be. Like this is not good. This is not going how the video is going. Um, so I just try to like clamp it back. I'm like, let's just start a like crack screen, whatever. I'm just going to put it all back. So I, I clamp, I try to put the, uh, the screen back on. I just try to press it back and, uh, hope that it turns back on and it doesn't, it doesn't turn back on. Uh, the screen won't turn on. I, I've just busted my phone. My phone is just destroyed. Uh, I can't turn it on or off. It still seems to have some haptic feedback when you push the little fingerprint thing, but it's pretty much. I'd like it when I connect it to my computer. It doesn't re read or register as a Pixel device, or it doesn't read as anything connecting to it. So I'm boned. And I didn't, I'm even, even though I really should have, uh, I'm looking for something in these case. I'm not sure what. You're looking for a piece of wood, sir. Little shade. Pick up. Yeah, pick up. 
Excellent. Um, so yeah, my phone is boned. Um, and it's very sad, especially because I've had the phone for so long. It made me very sad. Um, and I felt, I felt pretty emasculated. <laughs> I was like telling my friends, uh, as we played about my experience. So like, I just destroyed, like I, I destroyed my phone while we're playing. Um, and I felt really bad. And it's been really odd, even though it's just been a day, not having my phone, not having a multimedia device in your pocket at all times, um, really makes you realize how interwoven it is in our daily lives. Because, uh, man, just walking around, there's just, your brain just thinks like, oh, I want to check this. I want to see what time it is. I want to check the news. I want to see if I have an email. I need to, oh, I need to pay this person. Um, you can't do that anymore, just instantly. And man, like just uh, uh, fast from that for 24 hours has been, I mean, you know, it's going to be strange. It's not like I'm saying anything that it, like, yeah, yes, we are all, you're all nodding. We all accept. Yeah, we, we know we're addicted to these things and not having them is, is crazy, but it, it really is. And you think, oh, like, it would be fun to try that sometimes, but you're never going to try it unless you're forced to. Um, so, yeah. And, of course, it's Labor Day, so the phone repair place is closed. Um, the, like, certified Google phone repair place. Because that my hope is still that I'll be able to salvage, salvage it. I know most of the stuff is still backed up in the cloud anyway, but there's a lot of stuff. Um, like, boy, all of my Google Authenticator stuff for work, I've got, like, 15 Authenticator accounts, and I... That would be really annoying to have to set all that back up again. There's so much that would be annoying. So I'm really hoping we can do a, a clean... Well, that hopefully they can just fix it. And then when I get a new phone, I can do a clean transfer. But, ah, oh, man. So I'm I'm hoping tomorrow, I'm going to take some time, go to this place and cross my fingers that their competency will be able to salvage my phone. Um, hopefully I didn't damage any, like, the SSD that's in there. Um, I, I don't know. I don't even know the anatomy of a phone. Hopefully, I just damaged the display stuff. Um, so yeah, that uh, that's what I did yesterday, and I felt really bad. I felt super bad about it. Um, not about uh, just about my own like competency. It as like for who I am, for like what I do for a living. Um, when I can't do stuff like that, when I fail at stuff like that, I really feel it. I feel really bad about myself. Um, so today, um, I ended up doing a bunch of stuff, um, partially because I didn't have a phone, I guess. Um, so I ended up like I installed, I've been installing these smart dimmer switches all throughout the house, but I got, I got another one done today. Um, I, uh, yeah, forget it. I, um, we don't super need coal anymore now that we have the, uh, the coal clue from the face. Uh, I... What did I do? I did the dimmer switch. I did... What am I thinking? What was the other big thing I did? I... Oh, I installed... Uh, I, I had gotten more RAM for my computer. I installed that. That's really easy, but still, it was... You know, you feel like, oh, this is easy. Like, this goes in the RAM slide. I turned off my... Like, I know where everything goes. It just made me feel like, okay, I'm I'm not totally incompetent. So, And by the way, my computer now has 32 gigabytes of RAM, so two thumbs up. Um... And I still need a new video card, but I might get one. Uh, that's a, that's another subject. That's another subject. Uh, I'll, I'll not go on that tangent. Well, um, so I did that. And then we had gotten all this firewood. Um, we, we fixed our fireplace about a month ago in preparation for the winter. And there are a lot of trees in my neighborhood, a lot of fallen trees all the time. And then, you know, they got chopped up and people were like, hey, free firewood if you want to pick some up. My wife had picked up all this free firewood, but it was not in firewood format. Um, it was like in basically like tree, like small tree trunk size. So I went out and like there was this one big log um, that's basically twice, twice the length uh, of a of what you would think of as a normal firewood size, a piece of firewood, a, a firewood log. I was like, well, we have to chop this in half uh, to be able to use it as firewood. So, and my wife had just bought for, for the purpose of splitting firewood, a, a firewood ax, a wood ax. 
Um, and I had split wood before. I've done that in the past um, on like an out west trip once when I was like 12 or thir 13, when I was 13. Uh, but it had been a really long time. But I realized that this wood was way too long to be able to split. Like this had to be cut in half. And we didn't. We don't have a chainsaw or anything like that. I, we do have a little handsaw, and I tried sawing it through, but it was taking forever. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna chop this thing through. So I used the our new wood axe to chop this long piece of wood um, in half widthwise. Uh, basically, like chopping like you would chop down a tree if the tree was, but the tree is uh, you know lying flat on the ground. Um, so I spent a long time doing that. I put on all this bug spray, bug spray, because we have a really bad mosquito problem. I put on these like safety goggles, and I just used this axe. Uh, I don't know for like an hour. I just hacked away at this hacked, hacked, hacked. I, I wow, I don't know how I repeat that hacked. I hacked away at this log, um, just building up the sweat, filling up the goggles, uh, and I did it. It was so satisfying to 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 finally have that last chop and splitting this log uh into two different pieces um and it, it was i'm gonna be really really sore tomorrow but i was i felt more like a man for whatever that's worth and uh yeah so i'm feeling a little better about all that today and now finally i'm able to record um I basically didn't do any recording this. I did barely any recording for this week because I we went out of town the past couple of days. And then we had someone doing some work on the basement for most of the day until the evening. So now it's finally night. I'm finally trying to get all the recording of the week done. Um, which is what yesterday, if you saw the Cataclysm episode, I, I recorded that first and then immediately uploaded it and uh, and published it as soon as it was processed by YouTube. So... Um, yeah, that's going on. Uh, so I'm hoping that tomorrow I'll be able to fix my phone. And in the meantime, I don't know, I'm just working on self-esteem and, and, uh, building up my mas sense of masculinity. Is that okay? Is that, is that fine? Uh, yeah. So that was my labor day. I can already feel I'm getting pretty tired. Uh, my body is. Mentally, you know, I'm never quite all there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a lovely weekend upstate visiting my my sister and her husband's house my, because my mom was up there visiting. And they have a nice little pool. It was, it was a lovely time. And they all have their, like, uh, coronavirus tests that came back negative, and we all, you know, felt safe enough to do that. Oh, we're getting to the bulbous mushrooms here. Very good. Very excellent. Do I bring a mushroom up? I think I probably should, right? Why don't we take, uh, take this guy? Grab it. And, uh, where is it? Continue. This is my favorite music in this game. This this music right here. Uh. Oh man. Oh my body, stretching. Oh. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. There's a whole bunch of other firewood out there that needs. To, I, I I can't do that with all those pieces of of wood. Um, I think we need to get a chainsaw. But I I don't regret just hacking at it because it, it made me feel better. It was a good workout. The axe probably already needs to be sharpened, but it was sh very sharp. That new axe came with like a piece of rubber on it. All right. I'm really, really hoping that this mushroom, uh, that this the large mushroom is there. Because if it's not, if it's not, I really just don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. We really, I'm kind of plumb out of ideas. 
so I'm crossing my fingers, as we all should be, that this thing's there. We need another disappointment. We need another piece of wood. We need gold coins. And we need to just explore more. We need more things to explore because we're, we're, we're done. We've done all there is to do. The only thing I can think to do is break the mattock again. And I don't think we want to do that. Come on. Come on, little shade. Pitter pat now. All right, this is it. Coming up these stairs. Last flight until we get to see. I'm optimistic, cautiously optimistic here. Oh yeah, so I might get a new video card. I, I might get. I saw that Nvidia is is coming out with um, a new generation of video cards already. Um, I felt like it was like a decade between the 1080 and the 2080s, the RTXs, and now they're coming out with a 3080 um, or just 3000, whatever you want to call it. And there are a bunch of different ones, and the price point seems very reasonable. And I'm I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about getting one of the mid range. I think about getting the 3080 Nvidia card, maybe, which would be lovely. We could start. We could play some games that actually. That actually, uh, I'm nervous. That actually. Oh yes, bulbous. Oh no, we knew there was one bulbous one. We need a bulbous one close to the edge. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. No. No. What? What do I need to do here? This is not what we were hoping. We can't get up. We got these bulbous mushrooms and... Can I push it? I'm going to plant this one. This is not working out. I don't know what to do. I don't want to just wait for that to grow. Do I use the mattock on, on this guy? Uh, maybe it could have been used as a trampoline if it had grown closer to the edge. Well, yeah, that's what I want. All right, well, it's, it's giving me that tip. Clearly, that's what I have to do. Clearly. That's what's going on. I mean, I'm tr that's all we've been trying to do is grow this as close to the edge as possible. And I don't understand how we keep failing in this. All right, um, maybe that'll do it. I don't know what else to do. I mean, very clearly, the message that it gave when we destroyed the big mushrooms right here was that if it had grown closer to here, we could use it as, as a trampoline. That is clearly what we need to do. I just don't know how to get it to grow right there. We've tried this with a green one there and a purple one, and maybe we, maybe we just had a weird configuration here. I'm hoping that green, purple... As, you know, with the two places to plant as, as close to the right as possible, that that'll do it. So I am going to wait here. And I'm going to wait a couple of days to record again, I think. I should be able to do that. I think if I... Let me think. This is going to come out on Tuesday. And then uh, the next episode would have to come out on Thursday. So do I have time Wednesday evening? Yeah, I should be able to record Wednesday night. Just one episode of this. That should be fine. So that's my plan. So um, I hope that goes well. Because if it doesn't, I don't know what we're going to do. If it doesn't, I don't know. 
you let me know what you think we should do if if we still can't get this trampoline mushroom to grow there. Uh, I enjoyed playing with you today, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.